The 2012 election is going to be dominated by the economy. The United States needs to grow more jobs to make up the losses that we had during the recession, keep pace with population growth. But we need better jobs, better paid jobs. And that means we've got to retool our economy towards an economy that is fueled by innovation and driven by exports and global engagement. Federal solutions, which is generally what presidential candidates talk about, are insufficient to create jobs and retool our economy. What I argue is that the next president needs to galvanize the talent and energy of states and metropolitan areas and the corporate and civic institutions that help shape our economy. States, cities, and metropolitan areas are very powerful in this country. They make large investments. They control policies that affect the economy. They also innovate, particularly at times when the federal government is in gridlock, mired in partisanship and ideological polarization. So there's much to learn from states and metropolitan areas that can be scaled up at the federal level. What I argue for is a new kind of pragmatic, collaborative federalism, where all levels of government work together so that the United States can enter a new competitiveness phase. The federal government, first and foremost, would lead on what matters, make signature investments in advanced research and development, transformative infrastructure, skilled workers, innovation, infrastructure, human capital. Those are the assets that drive prosperity, and the federal government has not made the kind of signature investments at scale over a sustained period of time so that we can keep pace with our competitors. Second. States and metros should be empowered to innovate. Right now, the national government is a legacy government. It's highly prescriptive, highly technocratic. It doesn't give states and metropolitan areas enough room to innovate. What I argue is that the U.S. should have a race to the top on advanced manufacturing, innovation, and export-driven growth. Let's free up the states and cities and metros to find new ways for the United States to grow these very productive and sustainable sectors of our economy. So again, we can keep pace with mature economies like Germany and rising nations like China and Brazil. What I argue for is a race to the top around advanced manufacturing, exports, and innovation. The federal government empowering, enabling, catalyzing, providing incentives to states and metropolitan areas to do what they do best. If we have this new kind of collaborative federalism, the federal government leads where it must, and states and metros are empowered to innovate where they should, I think we can make the transition to a different kind of American economy, which creates not just more jobs, but better jobs.